What's up you guys, it's the boy and today we will see how to give this hope poster effect to your photos without using pen tool in photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So this is the image to which we will be giving a hope poster effect. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial then you already know the drill, links in the description below. So the first step we will be starting with is by reducing the size of the image. So for that go to image and then select the option as image size. Now over there you need to reduce the width of the image to around 2500 pixels and then make sure that the maintain aspect ratio linked has been checked. After that you can click on ok. Now let me just make this image fit into the document. Now the next thing we need to do is create a duplicate of this image so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j and then we need to get a rough selection of the model in the image so for that we won't use quick selection tool or pen tool but we will go ahead with a polygonal lasso tool since the technique which we are going to use works better with that of sharp edges so now select polygonal lasso tool and then using polygonal lasso tool make the rough selection of the model in the image. Make sure while making the selection you stay little bit inside of the model image. So once the selection is complete after that you need to click on add layer mask icon so that it only keeps the image which is inside of the selection and hides the rest of the image. And then you can hide the background layer by clicking on the eye icon. So as you can see we have separated out the model in the image. Now let's fill it with a white background at the moment. So for that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. And then you can choose the color as white and then click on ok. So now as you can see we have filled the background with that of the white color. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the saturation from the model image. So for that make the top layer active by clicking on it. And then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as UN saturation. And then we need to set the saturation to minus 100. After that we need to fill it with a solid color. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. And then you can set the color as follows 9673 Phi A and then click on OK. And then you need to set the blend mode of this color fill layer to hard mix. So as you can see this hard mix blending mode gives us such a nice threshold kind of effect. Now even if you want to change this effect then all you need to do is double click on the color icon. Now if you want to increase the blackness in the image and bring out more details of the model then you can take this slider more towards right or else if you want to reduce the blackness in the image and reduce the details of the model as well then you can take this slider more towards left but I don't want to change anything at the moment so I'm clicking on cancel over here. Now the next thing we need to do is again convert this image into a black and white image. So for that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as black and white. Now over there you need to go at the bottom and then you need to change the value of the blues to around 40. And then you need to change the value of the magentas to around 60. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now the next thing we need to do is give this black and white image the colors of a hope poster. So for that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient map. Now over there you need to click on the gradient icon which will give you a pop up in order to select the gradient. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient. So for that select the gradient as black and white. And then double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you a pop up in order to set the color. And then set the color as follows. 00314F and then click on OK. After that you need to create one more color stop so for that go at the bottom and one hand tool will appear over there. So you need to click on that in order to add a color stop and then you need to set the location of this color stop to around 40% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows D81921 and then click on OK and then you need to add one more color stop so let's just add it. And then you need to set the location of this color stop to around 60% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 7C A4 AE and then click on OK. After that you need to set the color of the rightmost bottom color stop as follows FC E4 A8 and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see we have added the colors of the hope poster in the image. Now the next thing we need to do is smoothen out the edges of each color in the image. So for that you need to make the model image layer active by clicking on it. And then right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. And then we need to bring out some of the details of the image over here. So for that go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as shadows and highlights. 
After that, I'm keeping the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect. So for that, clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. After that, you can click on OK. Now let's go ahead with the smoothing of the edges of each color. So for that, go to filter and then stylize and then select the option as oil paint. Now over there, you need to set the stylization as 5 and then set the cleanliness as 5 as well. And then you need to set the scale as 10 and bristle detail to 10 as well. And then make sure that the lighting option has been unchecked. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect by clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on OK. Now we need to smoothen the edges more but we need to preserve the details of some parts of the image. So for that we need to create a duplicate of this image. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then again go to filter and then stylize and then select the option as oil paint. After that you need to set the stylization to maximum that is 10 and then set the cleanliness to 10 as well and then you can keep the rest of the settings as same. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so for that clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on ok. So like this way you need to apply this oil paint filter with the same settings more 4 to 5 times so let me just do that. So as you can see we have smoothened out the edges of the colors but as you can see we have lost the details of the eyes and the hairs over here and we need to bring it back so for that you need to click on add layer mask icon and then select brush tool and then you need to select the brush as soft round and then make sure that the opacity and the flow of the brush is set to 100% and then you need to set the foreground color as black and then click on ok. Now using the brush tool you need to hover over the area where you want to bring back the details. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. So now as you can see we have brought back the details and now it is looking proper. Now the next thing we need to do is fill this background with that of a nice split color. So for that go at the bottom and then make the color fill layer active by clicking on it. Now we need to divide this document into half so for that we need to bring up the ruler tool and if it is not available then all you need to do is press Ctrl or command on Mac plus R and that will pop up. After that you need to drag a line from vertical and place it at the center of the document since the width of our document was 2500 pixels I will be placing a line at 1250 pixels. Now the next thing we need to do is get the selection of the left half of the document so for that select rectangular marquee tool and then using the rectangular marquee tool get the selection as follows. So now as you can see we have got the selection for the left half of the document. Now the next thing we need to do is fill it with a color. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. After that you need to set the color as follows 7C A4 AE and then click on OK. So similarly we need to get the selection of the right half of the document so let me just do that. And then we need to fill it with a different solid color. So for that again go to create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. And then set the color as follows D81921 and then click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is remove this line. So for that select move tool and then using the move tool you need to drag it at the sideways as follows. So now as you can see now our whole poster is almost ready. Now the next thing we need to do is fill it with a nice border. But before that let's crop the image first. So for that select crop tool. And then using the crop tool you can crop the image as follows. So once you have cropped the image after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now let's add some nice border so for that go at the top and then make the top layer active by clicking on it. And then again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. And then you can set the color as follows FC E4 A8 and then click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is add this color only on the border of the image. So for that make the mask of the color fill layer active by clicking on it. And then press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus A which will give you the selection of the whole document. After that go to select and then modify and then select the option as contract. After that you can set the contract by to 40 pixels and then make sure you take this apply effect at canvas bounds option and then click on OK. And then go to edit and then select the option as fill. After that you can set the contents as black. And then click on OK. After that you need to press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus D in order to deselect the selection. So now as you can see now our poster is completely ready. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to give this whole poster effect to your photos in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.